Hello everyone, it's Lindy from Stitch and Lindy. I am back for a weekly update, chat, vlog, whatever we're calling it. Um, it is gorgeous outside. We have our sunshine back. Our snow is pretty much all gone again, thankfully. Sorry to those that don't have their snow melting. <laughs> um, we've had some pretty, it's actually cooler today. Um, it is, I believe, four plus four so I'm not complaining um yesterday got up to plus 10 so it was beautiful out um so it's been great for walking I've been able to get my walks in um I got my walk in actually later today because my little miss wanted to take the morning off school which um she never wants to miss school so when I knew that she wanted when I when I, when she asked if she could sleep in I knew that she needed a rest so um, even though tomorrow is a PA day, I let her sleep in today. So we had some me time this morning with my little miss. We had breakfast together and then uh, we walked over to the school um, at lunchtime so she could go for the rest of the day. So um, a little bit of a later walk today. Um, so I didn't get my, I, I forgot to post my walking video this, well, this afternoon. Um, but this week's weigh in. I sabotage myself. Let's just say that. Um, yesterday for our um, Easter weigh-in, I was the same um, as last Wednesday. So I was good with that. But today's weigh-in from last Thursday, I was up 2.2 pounds, which I know where I went wrong. Um, we ate out a couple times and I've just been kind of off the last two or three days so it's I knew I was going to be up with um, some water retention and higher sodium um, so I'm just working on drinking up my water and flushing that out um, and getting back on track this weekend is Easter so I know I will be eating more um, and we will be eating meat this weekend um, there will be a lot of veggie options so I mean if we decide that we don't want to then we don't have to but We've got pretty much all the fixins. We've got a roast beef on Saturday, and on Sunday we've got turkey and ham. So we have quite the um, spread going to be happening up at my parents' house. So I will probably be eating all. I I prob I don't know if I'm going to eat the turkey because turkey really affects me badly. Um, <clears throat> I've been very sensitive to turkey my entire life. I know a lot of people are. It's unfortunately a gassy. Um, meat. So um, I don't know if I will eat the turkey. We've actually been pretty lucky um, this Easter. Um, my sister got a free ham. I got a free turkey. Not free, but um, the superstore was giving out turkeys last week um, when you spent $300 on groceries. So I mean, that's our weekly shop every week. So it was easy for us to get it. Groceries are insane, the prices right now. So we got a free turkey, a free ham, and um, my sister got free desserts yesterday. So we're doing pretty good on our meals. We just had to get sides. So um, <clears throat> we are going up to my parents and my sister lives on the same street. So we're all able to get together. Um, this weekend and the kids can have their Easter egg hunt and get to play together. Hopefully the weather's nice up there. I hope it's not too mucky up there with everything melting and de-thawing. So um, yeah, it's going to be a nice weekend. I hope everybody else has, uh, what's your plans for Easter? What are you guys doing? What are your, what are your tips around family gatherings or like holidays for staying on track for me gatherings and I actually answered a question um, on one of the WW um, pages this week on Facebook and I've even on meetings when I was going to the in-person meetings this was always my answer gatherings don't bother me so much because there's so many options for us there's tons of veggies let's be honest these you just got to kind of limit your starch. But if you're having a ton of zero point veggies or if you're cooking a chicken, that's zero points. So ham is, is pretty low. 
Um, turkey's, turkey's low too. If you're having the breast, it's zero points. Um, and then, um, I don't, I'm not a fan of dark meat, so I've never had to worry about points with turkey and chicken. So I've been good there. Um, and then, um, the roast beef isn't too bad. The only thing that gets me is because we love Yorkshire pudding, Yorkshire pudding and mashed potatoes. So I just got to kind of limit myself on those. But for the most part, your meal is very low. So um, it's not something that's ever really bothered me. I just make sure to load up on veggies. Um, so that's what I've always kind of tried to do. I don't usually go for seconds. Um, for a meal like that because it's so filling you there's so many options that you're filling your plate with um, the only thing is dessert because I am I have the biggest sweet tooth I've ever known to man um, and I can literally eat more dessert than my entire meal so that's where I kind of have to limit myself I was actually considering and Austin keeps asking me um, to try making the black bean brownies um, but I found a recipe yesterday for sweet potato brownies. So I might actually try making them to bring them up um, for an option like that um, for us. As well as, um, I don't know if anybody saw my post of, you take a date, a pitted date, slice it in the middle, put a little bit of peanut butter in. It's like, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of peanut butter that goes into it and then you melt dark chocolate and just roll them in it so that they're covered in it and put them in the fridge and let it harden they're so delicious they literally taste like a peanut butter cup they're so good so I was kind of thinking I might actually make um, the, um, a few of those anyways like maybe a container full of them if anybody else wants to try them but then it's an option for us to try as well so um, those I kind of have to limit myself as well because they are I, I can't remember if it was two or three points a date and those things like they're little so you can pop them in so those could get dangerous too I don't know we will see there was also a jello pie that we were making it was a crustless jello pie that um Jean-Luc and Nick made this was years ago when um they were first starting to put out recipe videos and you mixed it was Greek yogurt and um jello pudding mix and you heated it in the microwave stirred it heated it stirred it and then put it in your pie um, shell not shell um, pie plate and just let it rest so there was no crust it was delicious and I used to make it with um, orange jello and then you add mandarin oranges into it and it was so good it was refreshing I loved it my dad actually liked it too so that was another option that um, I was considering maybe making but I could just limit myself and not have it. We'll see. But yeah, what is anybody's tips around holidays of what you like to do to make sure that you are um, still enjoying yourself, not worrying so much? Like this is the time to spend with your family um, and not have to have those, not make it a stressful time. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to fully go off track. Um so what is what is your uh what are your tips i try to limit my alcohol um we do have a few drinks um there are times when we don't drink at all but um usually around easter and that we don't really drink all that much maybe one or two drinks for the entire weekend i don't know so i don't really have to worry about points with drinks um because it's not i mean if we start playing cards i might have a couple drinks i don't know we'll see but yeah, so that has been my week. I'm still working on um, adding more plant-based meals. I've actually been doing pretty good with finding different things. Um, I'm trying to get in the rhythm of what I like the best, what I like the most, um, and then what Austin also likes the most to have like daily. Um, instead of, because I like seeing a variety on my plate, so I don't, I always I always think back to foods class I think it's called home ec now um where it was like this portion of the plate is your proteins that's your whites this portion is your veggies that's your greens this portion is your grains you know and you have to have like the color of the rainbow on your plate but also these different food groups and I always think back to that to think 
you need to make your plates colorful. So I'm always getting all these different ingredients, but then we're wasting a lot too if we're not eating them. So um, I've been trying to kind of see what we're eating the most of or see what options I like the best to not have produce go to waste because let's be real, nobody can afford any kind of food going to waste right now. Um, the economy is out of control. So, um, but yeah, so we're still kind of working on that. Um, this week we had a few slip ups, um, which obviously it reflects in my way in. Um, and I know where I went wrong. So, um, it's not that I went wrong. I mean, this is a lifestyle we have to get used to. There are going to be days that we don't eat, um, fully healthy or, um, we want to treat ourselves to something, a, a treat or it, it's just, you need to know what it is that's made either you feel more bloated not feel good and I'll be honest with you me and Austin both said the same thing um last night we both literally both looked at each other and said I have been so drained and so tired over the last two days and it's because we're not eating on plan um you we literally saw physically the difference we were so drained like I sat down on the couch yesterday and I I didn't get up because I was so drained, so tired. I was almost falling asleep sitting there after work, which is not, since starting to add more plant-based, I will say my energy levels have been great. Um, I've been energetic, wanting to make meals, wanting to get meals together. And it's just, you definitely saw a huge shift in my energy um, because it, it was just more added, um, unneeded carbs that were added back into my unneeded starches that were just added back into my my way of eating and it was just it, it drained me so um I definitely see the 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 difference in in how it affects me physically and mentally so um it, it's just a very foggy tired feeling um so it's it, it's eye-opening and that's kind of why I've been happy that we've been doing it this way where we're adding in plant-based meals more and more but if we do feel like something we're still having it and then we can see the effects that okay this food is not good at all and it's this is what it's doing to us this is how it's affecting us there's certain certain foods that will affect my gut still um there's tons of different stuff um cabbage affects my gut huge which is something that a lot of people will say, I can't believe that that's something that is, but it, it cabbage really, really gets, um, my stomach is awful with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been interesting trying out all these new foods and just seeing, um, which ones provide more fuel, um, which ones don't, which ones kind of drag us down, uh, and just seeing what we can work on to try and make it better. So, um, overall it's, it's, I'm pretty happy with what changes we've been making. Um, obviously, there's always going to be room for improvement, um, but it's it's definitely been helping. Um, oh, I thought I had one up here. Um, I've been drinking the kombucha um, still. Um, I, I want to say every other day I've been having one. I haven't been having one every day. Um, so that's... I'm still really liking them. Um, I don't think they were affecting um, my gut um in a negative way um I think it was something that I was eating maybe when I discussed it last week so um I'm still going to continue to monitor that and see but I've been having one pretty much every other day so so far that's been good um yeah that's pretty much it um still kind of working through stuff still trying to get rid of this cough uh, it's driving me nuts. I've had it for, I want to say since July. And I'm almost positive. Kathy was talking about this the other day on, on uh, my page. I'm almost positive that I now have adult onset allergies. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what the saying is. But I have never in my life had allergies. And all of a sudden over the last, I want to say month, it's like my left eye is burning and it feels like something's in it. And then all of a sudden I'm coughing, I'm hacking. I feel like I'm choking. I can't get my breath. My nose is killing me. I keep having tonsil stones. It's, it's driving me nuts. I need this gone because it's making me go loony. 
And no, I was not loony already. Anyways, that is my week. I hope you guys all have an amazing Easter weekend. I hope you guys all get to spend some time with your family. Just relax. Crystal, I am sending my love, my strength, my positivity your way. I hope you're doing good, girl. And um, yeah, that is all that I have for the week. Um, as always, my handles are on the bottom. Stitch and Lindy on Connect if you'd like to add me on Weight Watchers. Oh, that was something that I wanted to bring up. And I don't know if it's still on. I did post it on my Weight Watchers and my uh, Facebook group. The other day, there was a $10 a month for 10 month plan that was going on and I was able to call in and get them to cancel my plan and add this on. So I'm saving $18 a month now. So I was very happy on doing that. There was quite a few people on WW that was able to do it as well. Um, so I hope some of you took advantage of that. Um, it's, uh, we definitely need to make savings wherever we can. So, um, yeah, Anyways, my handles are at the bottom, Stitch and Lindy on Connect, if you'd like to um, add me on there. If you'd like to um, join my group on Facebook, it is Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey. Make sure you do answer the question of where you heard of this page so that I can approve um, you into the group. I hope you guys all had a great week. Have a great Easter long weekend. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Mm -hmm.